The Wright brothers solved many problems before they first flew here on a windy December day in 1903. Thanks to their glider experiments, the Wrights knew they could control an aircraft and sustain flight, but they lacked a power source strong enough to propel the aircraft and light enough to carry into the air. The motor that solved that last problem lifted the idea of sustained, controlled, and powered heavier than air flight from a dream to a reality. The Wright brothers could not foresee all the effects of the transformation set in motion by their little engine. Neither could those who conducted the early experiments with the jet engine. Today, no one can foresee all the effects of the next generation air transportation system, a complete rethinking of air transport as it moves to satellite-based operations. But if that first engine gives us a hint, next gen will be powerful, and the benefits will take us to places we've never been before. Next Gen is a turning point in aviation history as breathtaking as the first generation of flight. That transformation took a big step when Wilbur Wright tried to find someone to build an airplane engine. He sent detailed specs to 10 companies for an engine that would produce at least eight horsepower and weigh no more than 200 pounds. Within a month, all 10 companies wrote back to say it can't be done. So the Wright's own mechanic, a man they hired to help them in their bicycle shop, set out to create the impossible engine. Years later, Charlie Taylor told a reporter, my only experience with a gasoline engine was an attempt to repair one in an automobile in 1901. Yet within six weeks, he produced the first airplane engine, an aluminum motor that generated nearly 13 horsepower and weighed only 170 pounds. Once Taylor proved it could be done, of course, airplane engines became more efficient. But the next transformation in power was the jet engine. Many of us date this engine to the airliners of the 1950s. However, significant research into jet propulsion was already underway by the 1920s. Only 20 years after the first simple airplane engine, the case was being made for the jet age. So why did it take 30 more years for the jet age to arrive? Because there was no market for jet engines in the 1920s. In 1923, in fact, the U.S. National Bureau of Standards reported, there does not appear to be at present any prospect whatever that jet propulsion of the sort here considered will ever be of practical value, even for military purposes. But when the German ME 262 Messerschmitt began high-speed attacks near the end of World War II, Americans saw the potential of the jet engine. After the war, as aviation overtook rail for long-distance travel in the United States, American industry made the business case for jet-powered flight. By the late 50s, the Boeing 707, the first successful jet airliner, transformed flight and as passengers rushed to board, the entire infrastructure of air travel changed too. Sleepy airfields with a hangar or two, maybe even a terminal building, weren't going to cut it anymore. New facilities had to be created to handle reservations, ticketing, and baggage. Quaint Idlewild Airport on Long Island welcomed groundbreaking Pan Am and TWA terminals built to accommodate the 707 before the airport changed its name to Kennedy International. People from all segments of aviation, manufacturers, operators, labor, civic authorities, government regulators, were involved in the incremental improvements and major investments that gave us modern aviation. As 727s, 747s, DC-10s, and others began filling the skies, the FAA created a new generation of air traffic control New generation computers combined radar and transponder information, giving controllers unique aircraft IDs on their scopes. As a result, jet engines didn't just bring speed and power, they led to astonishing levels of safety and performance. Next Gen is shaping up like the jet age, a transformation with amazing potential. It promises to make air transport safer and more reliable, improve the capacity of the airspace system, and reduce aviation's impact on the environment. NextGen could even lead to old ideas finding new value. Remember, the early jet engine took decades to be truly practical. 
Although we have many steps to take and major investments to make, we're ready now for next gen because so many steps have already been taken. The Wrights noted in 1903 that the Taylor engine was capable of putting out 136 pounds of thrust. Today, there's an engine for the Boeing 777 that puts out 110,000 pounds of thrust. Next Gen begins in a world unimaginable to the Wright brothers. It points to a world unimaginable to us.